Uh, g'day again, John down under Tunage here in uh, Melbourne, Australia. Uh, we're in the second week of lockdown here. Um, yeah, still not going to open up for at least until Friday, probably even longer, we're not sure. But um, yeah, just give me a chance to get a couple of videos done. And uh, I'm jumping on the uh, one that's been put up by uh, Jorgen S over in uh, Sweden. Uh, he's got a, a thread on the uh, synth pop. Um, yeah, there's a few other threads going at the moment that I can't enter because I just haven't got the records. It's jazz, the blues, the country, um, and even Beatles ones. So I can't do any of them. So this is one of the few that I can do. I think I've got most of the questions covered. So uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. Um, first question he's got is uh, what got you into synth pop? Um, I'll put a couple. Um, Gary Newman. Uh, very late seventies, of course. The all your glass cars down in the park and all that. Uh, that was a fantastic sound for the time. And second is uh, Visage, or yeah, Visage and uh, Ultravox as well. Sort of very similar. Um, yeah, Fade to Grey, fantastic track. So that's another one that I remember from early on. Uh, for, uh, first one bought is for question two. Um, yeah, back in the type when this first came out, I had it on. I bought it on cassette tape, of course. In I think it was right at the end of '83. Uh, this is yeah, Sweet Dreams are uh, made of this by Eurythmics, Annie Lennox and Dave Stewart. Yeah, fantastic. Still like it to this day. Uh, a re a recent. Purchase. Yeah, let's go on quiet now. Thanks to the lockdown, we can't go to shops. But this is Joe. I got this just before everything closed down. This is Australian band, um, Real Life. This is Heartland, uh, 983. And they're they're sort of a softer sound. You yeah, know, they're not sort of that rock and Aussie sort of group. They're, they're a bit quieter. Ah, uh, there's yeah, the first two tracks on side one are the main two ones, which is Send Me an Angel and Catch Me on Falling. So that's uh, real life. Uh, show a 45 or a 12 inch. Um, I'll go for a band that probably very few people have heard about. This is Aussie. Uh, this is Plan 8. And this is the 12 inch for the song Reach. Uh, this is from 1987. Uh, yeah, it's uh, Kat Critch and uh, Phil Colville. They were like a, uh, just a duo. Um, they're only around for a short time. And they didn't make a a full album. They only had uh, a couple of uh, singles and one live EP. Um, but yeah, really good sound. Uh, if you if you like your 80s keyboards and whatnot, this is a, a good one to listen to. So it's uh, Reach. And just to show the Plan 8 EP, which is this one, which is called You Were There. And uh, yeah, Plan 8 Live. So I could have used this for the live one, but I've got another one for that. So I'll, uh, yeah, just to show that it's sort of a, one of those lesser known Aussie bands that yeah, people might want to check out is uh, Plan 8. And of course, then we go to the live EP. I'll put uh, Devo, Devo Live. Roughly, oh, there's the hat. Uh, what's this? Ooh, 81, I think. Yeah, I think this one came out in 81. So that's uh, Devo for the live synth pop album. Uh, show a craft work. I'll go for the absolute classic Autobahn. 1975, the Vertigo. This is the uh, original pressing from Australia. Uh, yeah, they didn't have they didn't have a swirl at that time, of course. Um, it's like the spaceship type uh, label on this. Yes, yeah, so it's an original 75 Aussie. And uh, I've got the alternate on CD, the alternate cover design on a CD of it. So that's uh, my craft work. Uh, then it's uh, Depeche Mode, which uh, my missus is really into. We've only got one vinyl at the moment, which is a Broken Frame. Uh, what are we there? 82, I think this came out. So that's the Depeche Mode on vinyl. A 
a 70s, uh, that was a bit harder to find, uh, but I'll put humanly, this is uh, reproduction. This is their early stuff before uh, Sue and Joanne joined the band, the two girls. This is the, sort of what they call the male, it's more more techno and synthy as they were back then, and probably you'd say not as radio friendly. I tell you, that's a sort of a slightly controversial cover too, I think that was the reproduction from 1979. Uh, for the 80s, I'll go a little bit more off-center as well. And this is the Aussie band SPK. This is the 1984 album Machine Age Voodoo. Uh, they were quite hard industrial early on in their career. You know, like yeah, Machine Age Voodoo in 84 had the song uh, Metal Dance on it that was getting towards sort of classic synth pop. And then in 1988, they got a bit more what you call radio friendly. Uh, this is uh, Golden Poison. And uh, they had quite a well-known song from this uh, called uh, Breathless. And that's the 12-inch uh, single for it there. So they're, yeah, they're Aussie, Aussie group. Um, yeah, and Breathless is a little, yeah, that was probably their most radio-friendly song, I suppose you could call it. So that's uh, SPK for the 80s. Uh, 90s, uh, I think uh, Jorgen showed this as well. Uh, Violator by Depeche Mode. Yeah, we don't have much in the 90s that are sort of classic synth pop. Uh, and the 2000s even was a little bit even more tricky because yeah, that genre sort of isn't as popular as it was. But I'm going to go with uh, this fantastic album. This is Chromatics. And this is called Night Drive. Uh, there's quite a few, but this is the the one I've got is the uh, Lavender, which is like a semi-see-through lavender. Uh, there's quite a few. This this was the 2012 repress of this album, which had come out in, uh, uh, when was that, 2007. Uh, and this is... Yeah, why, why I got into this the first place was it's got a Kate Bush cover running up that hill that's actually really good. It's, it's Yeah, I generally don't like people that cover Kate Bush, but they did a very fantastic job of it. Um, and yeah, it's just yeah really good chilled sort of sounds to it. Um, yeah, not sort of synth pop, synth pop, but it's, it's sort of got a little bit of electronica in it, a little bit of a tallow disco, I suppose you could call it. And... Uh, Pretty good cover too, just just you know when you think of it. Uh, the one not many know about. Well, I'll go back to real life. Um, you know, obviously Aussies would be fairly. I'm guessing most Aussies would be fairly familiar with them, but I'm not sure how well they want. Well, they went overseas. And the, yeah, two Kookaburra there, which is the uh, Glenn Wheatley's label. So that's one to check out if you haven't uh, heard of them before. Uh, favourite album, that's a bit hard to narrow it down to one, but we'll just put this up because it is yeah, a damn good album. That's uh, Vienna by uh, Ultravox. Um, yeah, really good, really like it, even now. So that's uh, Vienna by Ultravox. Favourite cover, uh, that was that is going to be this, uh, You and Me Both by Yazoo. Uh, yeah, this is the last, uh, the ones that uh, Vince and Alison did together, and apparently the cover does sum up what their relationship was, because uh, if you look very carefully, you can see there's two fighting dogs in the middle of the picture, or the lower middle of the picture, and apparently they were, they had the same sort of issues in the, they would be separated in the studio and stuff like that, to uh, just to get this thing out, so that was probably a bit of a struggle, but it's a, yeah, brilliant cover, because you don't see the dogs unless you really look carefully. So that's uh, You and Me Both for the favourite album cover. Uh, solo artist, it wasn't that easy to find. I'll, I'll have to go with uh, Jean-Michel Jarre, uh, Magnetic Fields from 81. Uh, this is the only one I've got of his. I used to have Oxygen and Equinox on cassette tape, but I haven't uh, found them yet on vinyl. So we'll go with this and Magnetic Fields.
A uh, band that changed direction. I don't think many would know the Ministry Early Tracks. That's the CD of it. That's the very early stuff on a compilation CD. And uh, I've got the vinyl of this. Um, and there's an, uh, the absolutely brilliant song on this is uh, Every Day is Halloween. That's... Uh, that's on this 12 inch EP and uh, that's very uh, synthy, uh, yeah, sort of a synthy poppy sound which is, you know, they obviously went harder industrial later on but for this, yeah, this one when this came out it was, uh, it's a really good tune so that's one to check out is uh, Ministry and Every Day, Every Day is Halloween. Uh, well, what I'd like to upgrade, and uh, Mrs. would think the same thing, is uh, all our Depeche Mode CDs to put them, yeah, to get them all eventually onto vinyl. Uh, yeah, we've got a fair few of them that, yeah, we're chasing vinyl copies, so that's something, a bit of a long-term project that'll be. Uh, question 18 is show something you got as a gift and uh, Yeah, somebody gave me some records and these two are in it. It's breakdance one And breakdance two Which is that? This is by uh, these are those complex the company called Telmac, which is I think they're Aussie they're Yeah, they're sort of a cheapy version of KTEL if there could be such a thing, but um yeah, these would have come out probably 83, 84, something like that. And, uh, yeah, it's got quite a few of the um, synth songs. There were Blue Monday. Uh, Keep Feeling Fascination, the Human League song. Uh, Nobody's Diary, of course, from um, Yazoo. And Sweet Dreams Are Made of This. And the sneaky thing with these things is that, yeah, it looks like you're getting a compilation of, of the artist, but very, very fine print down the bottom there. It says, not recorded by the original artists. So it's about as small as the print they could probably get away with. But, yeah, so these are actually not the original artists either. So it's a bit cheap and naughty by then. But, uh, yeah, so that's uh, something I got for free. Uh, favorite song? Well, that's yeah, it could be any of a dozen at least that I can think of. So, um, yeah, what would I pick? Nobody's Diary, Love Is a Stranger by Eurythmics, uh, Fade to Grey, Visage, uh, Down in the Park, Newman, uh, Keep Feeling Fascination, Human League, or the early stuff being bored was another good one. Um, yeah, it's quite a few, so it's hard just to pick one. And the last question is, what would you hope to find in 2021? And on vinyl, I'd like to get uh, Devo's, um, yeah, the Freedom of Choice album back in 1980. It's an absolute cracker of a song, that one. And, uh, yeah, they've got some good tunes. And, yeah, the more you know about them, the more sort of socially aware and conscious they were. So they weren't just like a silly fad with silly hats that, you know, when you were sort of younger, you'd thought of them as that. But, uh, yeah, they've got... Yeah, quite a bit of common sense with them as well. So, um, yeah, that's one I'd like to get on vinyl. Uh, so there you go. There's the uh, 20 questions put out by uh, Jorgen over in Sweden. And, uh, yeah, I was happy to have a go at it. And hope you enjoyed watching it. And thanks very much. And I'll see you again sometime in the future. And until then, I'll see you later.